All right, so t today I'm going to show you how to draw a snowflake using a regular piece of printer paper. If you don't have printer paper, you're going to have to use the other video where we use uh, sketchbook paper. It's a different snowflake. If you try doing this snowflake with printer or with uh, sketchbook paper, it's not going to work. So go watch the other video if you only have sketchbook paper. All right. I'm assuming you have printer paper. If you need to pause the video, go find some. Do that. You're going to need a pencil, and you're going to need a pair of scissors, and, of course, a piece of printer paper. <clears throat> First thing we need to do is we need to make this into a square. We're going to do that by folding the upper corner on a 45 degree angle this should come to a sharp point 45 degree angle now look at my fingernails I have very little fingernails and yet I'm using my fingernails to make my creases okay please do that too then with my pencil I'm going to trace a line on ah, on the paper. Try not to do that. And then I'm going to cut on that line with my scissors. Try and stay on the line as best you can. From there and awesome. I'm gonna set this aside. Now I'm gonna take this piece of paper and I'm gonna fold it in half. Still got a nice good strong crease. I'm gonna fold it in half this way. Make sure I line up those two points and put a crease here. It should look like a right angled triangle. Okay, I'm going to open it back up. I see a crease. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better. Now this part's a little tricky. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up. It's going to use this as a pivot point. And it's going to be coming out on an angle that way. Okay, use my fingernail for that crease. And then I'm going to flip this over, and it should, it should line up pretty well even. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Okay. And then I'm going to fold this whole thing in half. I know I did that a little fast. If you need to rewind, go ahead and do that. Okay. If I flip it over, I have, I have a line there. I'm going to cut on that line because I don't need anything above that line. This is scraps. Okay. This is the side with my crease. Anything I do on this side, anything I draw on this side will happen. It'll, it'll fold open. This is the center of my snowflake. All right, now I've got a bunch of patterns here that I've done, a bunch of different snowflakes I've made. And they all kind of make slightly different snowflake shapes. Now let me open those up real quick so you can see them. So there's one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Okay. 
So here's what we do. On the side with the crease, up here in this corner, I like to work with straight lines. I think it's a little easier. I'm going to draw a line now, down, and I'll line up. So that's a triangle. Think second grade snowflake when you do that. Okay, another triangle here. Uh, I think I'm going to trim this off here. So all of this will go away. That will go away. And let's see. I'm going to cut that off. And maybe I'll cut this part off too. Okay. So here we go. Let's find out what it looks like. Yours does not have to look like mine. I don't even know what mine's going to look like, to be honest with you. But we're going to find out together. I'm going to expect you to bring your snowflake to school, and I'm going to hang them up all together in, in commemoration of our snow day. Got all my pieces cut. I've not fold unopen I've not opened this before, so watch. We're gonna open this very slowly. I'm gonna fold unfold it in half. Find the center. And then I'm gonna take that fold and I'm gonna reverse it. See, I reversed it. Reverse the bottom part of it too. And then I'm gonna open this part up. Reverse those folds, reverse these folds, and open the whole thing up. Reverse those folds, and I got a snowflake. Okay, make sure you bring this to school uh, when I see you next, and we'll hang them up. This, you will get credit if you have a snowflake. If you don't have a snowflake, you don't get any credit. So make sure you make a snowflake. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.